Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to show you how you can connect to a PostgreSQL database on AWS RDS from Python. So let's just begin. So alright, so first of all, we can create a database using AWS RDS. RDS can be used to create different types of databases, whether it's Postgres or MySQL or Oracle DB. So we'll create a Postgres in this video and connect to it using a Python script. All right, so first of all, we can head up to RDS and we can go to our AWS console and then search for RDS and just head up to RDS service here. And now we can go to DB instances and now we can create a database. How to create a database is just click on create a database. Then we can choose our type of database. So for this, we're choosing PostgreSQL. Then we can choose other configurations. So I'll just keep it as a free tier database. Then we can choose the DB instance identifier. I can just keep it as database to itself. Now for the username, I'll just keep it Postgres. And for the password, I'll some I'll generate a auto generate password or you can write a password yourself so i'll just keep it something like programming knowledge and i keep the password here itself as well all right so now we can move forward and we can allocate 20 gb storage if you want you can allocate it more of storage if you want so i'll just allocate 20 gbs now we can move forward and we can allow public access to a database so we can actually access it using python code now moving forward we can see additional configuration so we are forwarding our database request to port 5432 which is actually a postgres database port now moving forward we can head up to additional configuration for database and this is actually an important part because we have to write a, a database name else the database will not be created so for the initial database name i'll just keep it something like db name or anything you want something like test name or anything you would like to keep all right i think i'll keep all other configurations like this only and then now we can create the database using the create database button so, all right there's so uh, now i can create that database inside AWS rds all right so now i'll now let's get to the coding part now first of all for connecting to postgresql databases you need a library in python called psycho pg2 so we will first install that using pip so we can run the command pip install psycho pg2 binary so this will install the psycho pg2 library inside our system through which we can connect to a postgres database all right so now i can import this library inside my code and now we can move on to connecting to our database so first of all i'll just set, set some variables for connecting to database these can be db host db name db user and db pass so for the db pass i had kept the password as prove knowledge uh, you can also use environment variables for this purpose because i think this is a um, sensitive variable then for the db user it was postgres which is the master username for a database for the db name we had kept it as test name and for the db host is what we'll get from aws rds portal so first of all go to your aws rds and then head up to the database too so while this is cre being created after this has been created an endpoint will show here which will be the host for this database so we'll just wait it for the creation of database and then we'll copy the host from here and paste it there for the other configuration we can look for configuration and see the other configurations like the instance id the test name which is the test name db db name the master username is the postgres and master password is the password which we had set so now let's just wait for this to get created and then we'll copy the endpoint and paste it there all right so my database has been created now we can copy our endpoint from here which is the db host for our database and just paste it here for the db host variable perfect now we can set up a connection to our database i'll just name something like connection which is equals to psycho pg two dot connect and now i can pass in my configuration variables first of all it's the host which is equals to db host and then likewise for database db user and password we can keep the variables as db name db user and db pass all right so this will be the connection string and now we can connect uh now we can just print a statement stating whether we are connected or not and now we can declare a cursor which will be used to uh run queries to our database so we can declare it using 
we can name the variable something like cursor which is equals to connection dot cursor and then we can execute queries on this cursor using the commands cursor dot execute i'll just run a select version query here which will return me the version of database and now we can uh fetch that value from the fetch one function which is cursor dot fetch one and now we can print the database version uh using print db version now we can close the connection using the command cursor dot close which will uh safely close the connection with database all right so now we have written the script and now we can move on to the last step which is actually editing the security groups for our aws rds so for this we need to edit the security groups for our database so how we can edit that is we can go to the database instance and now we can hit it with the connectivity and security tab and just going down we can see the security group rules for this so we have the inbound rules set up by this ec2 security group so we have to edit this to be able to receive requests on the port 5432 all right so i'll just open the security rule and now we can edit this rule how we can edit this is by clicking on modify so i'll just let load and now i will select this and now i can modify this rule by clicking on action and then edit inbound rules so for uh, this we need to add another custom rule which will be custom tcp and now you have to enable the traffic income to 542 port which is the port for our postgres ql server and for the source we can just keep it as any ipv4 if you want to keep it a uh, universal or you can just type in your ip for for let fun ip address connect to your Create to our database all right so i'll just keep it any, anywhere uh from my vv4 and now i'll just click on save rules and now a, a new rule will be created for me i have already created that rule from here which is uh this rule so this was actually custom tcp which will be renamed to postgresql when you keep the port as 5432 all right so i have created the inbound rule now and now we can attempt to connect to our database using our script so i'll just run the script and so yeah you are connected to the database they just say indeed and now it prints the version of the database from the cursor so perfect that's how we actually connect to aws rds postgresql server and guys so that's it for the video so thanks for watching